As an artist, you're always looking to scratch that creative itch. This is my first attempt to make a sculpture out of straw, so it's a brand new medium for me. Flame coming yeah. all the way. It's gonna shoot up like a chimney. Yes, yes. We have uh, Vitautas here from Lithuania, who is uh, an expert in straw sculpting, and so he's kind of teaching us how it works. You know, this such kind of art, it's like a game. Sometimes you don't expect what you can do with straw, but it's the most beautiful material. For me, it comes down to we're surrounded by stuff more than ever these days, and uh, to build permanent things is just adding more stuff. So these are going to stack up, and then we're going to systematically light it on fire. You know, winter being sort of a dark time um, for some people emotionally and for others just a time where there's less daylight. And the lantern is, you know, symbolically a, a beacon or like a mechanism to give light. Fire, I think it's very deep for every people, I think. Like in our traditions, many villages made big sculptures, sometimes simple and during burning time. It's good feeling. It's burning, but something it's living. To see them in action, uh, see the actual display that's going to be uh, on Holiday Alley being built. I just couldn't be happier. And seeing the school kids here, they're teaching them how to, how to bind it and how to make a display. We need that generation coming behind us and interested in these kind of events. So, I love it. More people taking part at this sort of grassroots level, I think, is a, a great way to sort of have it grow in the future. like this on display in Selkirk and I haven't seen something like this before so it's really unique and fun to see and I think people will really like it. The city of Selkirk has been great in accommodating this and uh, having this venue to build out of is just really inspiring too because you could picture clearly there's room for several teams to be collaborating and working together. The hope for this festival is that we generate interest so that there's the expectation that this will happen every year. We could bring teams from around the world or across North America to come to Manitoba, where all these materials are available. We come together as a group, build a sculpture, and have a fire festival afterwards. And a great way to meet and exchange ideas with other artists.